Health Impact Assessment HIA, is defined as a combination of procedures, methods, and tools by which a policy, program, or project may be judged as to its potential effects on the health of a population, and the distribution of those effects within the population, ECHP 1999, p. 4. Topic overview HIA is intended to produce a set of evidence-based recommendations to inform decision-making Taylor and Quigley 2002, p. 2. HIA seeks to maximize the positive health impacts and minimize the negative health impacts of proposed policies, programs or projects. The procedures of HIA are similar to those used in other forms of impact assessment, such as environmental impact assessment or social impact assessment. HIA is usually described as following the steps listed, though many practitioners break these into sub-steps or label them differently. Screening, determining if an HIA is warranted, required scoping, determining which impacts will be considered and the plan for the HIA identification and assessment of impacts, determining the magnitude, nature, extent and likelihood of potential health impacts, using a variety of different methods and types of information decision-making and recommendations, making explicit the trade-offs to be made in decision making and formulating evidence informed recommendations evaluation monitoring and follow up process and impact evaluation of the hia and the monitoring and management of health impacts the main objective of hia is to apply existing knowledge and evidence about health impacts to specific social and community contexts to develop evidence based recommendations that inform decision making in order to protect and improve community health and well-being because of financial and time constraints, HIAs do not generally involve new research or the generation of original scientific knowledge. However, the findings of HIAs, especially where these have been monitored and evaluated over time, can be used to inform other HIAs in contexts that are similar. An HIA's recommendations may focus on both design and operational aspects of a proposal. HIA has also been identified as a mechanism by which potential health inequalities can be identified and redressed prior to the implementation of proposed policy, program or project Atchison 1998. A number of manuals and guidelines for HIA's use have been developed see further reading. Topic. Determinants of health The proposition that policies, programs and projects have the potential to change the determinants of health underpins HIA's use. Changes to health determinants then leads to changes in health outcomes or the health status of individuals and communities. The determinants of health are largely environmental and social, so that there are many overlaps with environmental impact assessment and social impact assessment. Topic levels of HIA Three forms of HIA exist, desk-based HIA, which takes two to six weeks for one assessor to complete and provides a broad overview of potential health impacts, rapid HIA, which takes approximately 12 weeks for one assessor to complete and provides more detailed information on potential health impacts, and comprehensive HIA, which takes approximately six months for one assessor and provides an in-depth assessment of potential health impacts. Impact 2004, p. 7, it has been suggested that HIAs can be prospective, done before a proposal is implemented, concurrent, done while the proposal is being implemented, or retrospective, done after a proposal has been implemented, Taylor, Gorman and Quigley 2003, p. 1. This remains controversial, however, with a number of HIA practitioners suggesting that concurrent HIA is better regarded as a monitoring activity and that retrospective HIA is more akin to evaluation with a health focus, rather than being assessment per se, Chem 2003, p. 387. Prospective HIA is preferred as it allows the maximum practical opportunity to influence decision-making and subsequent health impacts. Topic. HIA practitioners HIA practitioners can be found in the private and public sectors, but are relatively few in number. There are no universally accepted competency frameworks or certification processes. 
It is suggested that a lead practitioner should have extensive education and training in a health-related field, experience of participating in HIAs, and have attended an HIA training course. It has been suggested and widely accepted that merely having a medical or health degree should not be regarded as an indication of competency. The International Association for Impact Assessment has an active health section. A HIA people directory can be found on the HIA gateway. Topic. HIA Worldwide HIA is currently being used or developed around the world, most notably in Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand, Africa and Thailand. The new safeguard policies and standards of the International Finance Corporation IFC, part of the World Bank, were established in 2006. These contain a requirement for health impact assessment in large projects. The standards have been accepted by most of the leading lending banks who are parties to the Equator Principles. Health impact assessments are becoming routine in many large development projects in both public and private sectors of developing countries. There is also a long history of health impact assessment in the water resource development sector, large dams and irrigation systems. Topic: HIA conferences. The 13th International HIA Conference was held in Geneva in 2013. The 12th International HIA Conference was held in Quebec City in 2012. Topic. See also Impact Assessment Environmental Impact Assessment Equality Impact Assessment Four-step impact assessment Healthy development measurement tool Risk assessment Social impact assessment Health promotion Jakarta Declaration Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion Health protection Environmental health List of environmental health hazards Precautionary principle Risk assessment Population health Public health Social determinants of health